Creation Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to another edition of Gridiron Gladiators. Uh, I am your host, Bam McGrad, coming to you tonight from my top, top secret place. <laughs> um, as you can see, I got two different colors going on here tonight. Where my uh, Bama shirt and my North Carolina hat. Uh, basically wearing it because of last night's big North Carolina Tar Heel win over Duke last night. Yay. Uh, passionately hate Duke just as much as I hate Auburn. Uh, so, uh, so that's why I'm wearing the hat. Um, kind of getting it going tonight here. Um, just a few short news uh, products here for the league. Um, very happy to announce that we have uh, two new users in the two new coaches in the league. One of them, uh, former commission himself, BK, he is returned back to uh, Green Iron Gladiators. Thumbs up to you, my friend. And uh, another user, Ike, uh, he uh, will be taking over Penn State. And also, uh, um, BK originally was going to take over Washington, and then he and, and UA grad. 90 decided to swap teams. I okayed the deal and uh, everything was kosher from there. Um, so, uh, UA grad is now heading off to Washington to take over the Huskies program, who desperately need help. And then BK uh, gets the reins of the Hogs again. So, uh, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, UA pretty much left BK in good, in good uh, formation with that team. And uh, as good a player as UA is, I think he's going to do great wonders with the Washington program. Uh, many users better take note. Uh, so go from there. I'm going to start off tonight with our week six recap here tonight, gentlemen. I'm going to start off with, of course, the number one team, which is the Florida Gators. Uh, they had a pretty easy time last week with the uh, LSU Tigers, who were just absolutely struggling this year. They're, they came in the matchup one and three. They leave one and four as they lose 49 to seven to Florida. Uh, I don't know what, much else to say other than it was just absolute slaughter. Uh, not much else to say other than that. Uh, it was a, a tough, tough game. Moving on, uh, as the number two ranked team, Ohio State Buckeyes, they battled up with, uh, it was a, yeah, at first it was a user versus computer matchup, then Ike came in and wanted the challenge, so he got the challenge, and he ended up on the short end of the stick, 31-14, yeah, so Ohio State defeats of, uh, Penn State, 31-14. Uh, tough way to get into the league here, Ike, but um, I'm sure, very sure that uh, you will rebound quickly, my friend. Uh, I have all faith in the world in your ability to do that. Uh, moving on, we have... Let me see, we have a number three team. No, we don't. We have a number four team, which is the USC Trojans, and uh, they had no problem with Utah last week. 55 to 7 just absolutely slaughtered the Utes in that game. Uh, so tough, tough game there for Utah, but USC's on a roll right now. They're 5 and 0, ranked fourth in the nation right now. Uh, what else can you say than that? Uh, very tough team all the way around. Then you have number six Oregon, who is uh, steadily climbing the charts. Slim has got this group going right now. They showed no mercy to Stanford last week, 47 to 7, in a very impressive game there. And uh, what I was going to say, Slim's got himself a roll here, uh, getting going here. And uh, next week they uh, take on the team that USC just defeated Utah. So that'll be a heck of a matchup there, too. And uh, then moving on to my team, number seven, Alabama. Uh, we had Georgia come into Brian Denny Stadium. Uh, they took the early lead on us, and then after that, it was all Alabama. Our defense forced three turnovers in the game, which was fantastic, uh, especially with uh, coming off the loss against Arkansas. We really needed a rebound game, and uh, we did it here. So a uh, good game there. Georgia drops to two and two. This does this does hurt their. Chances in the East against Saxon Gators, 
Um, I don't think anybody's going to touch Saxon Gators unless another user goes to East. Um, but I don't really see that happening right now. But uh, anyway, uh, Alabama will get Ole Miss next, and they come into the matchup four and two. So three and one versus four and two. That should be a very good matchup there. Next up, we move to Arkansas. It was originally coached by UA grad. Now it's BK. With his return, he takes over a four and two Arkansas team. Uh, this team came off a 27 to 20 win over Auburn, which UA grad 90 defeated Fred Limbo in that matchup. Uh, fabulous game between those two users. Awesome job, gentlemen. And, uh, and, uh, uh, I already heard from UI grad on his end. Definitely want to hear from Fred Mimo on his end on the uh, coach's post game reports. So, uh, uh, if you get a chance, Fred, please put that up, my friend. Um, other than, and then moving on, we have number 11, Penn State. Uh, as I said, they had a uh, tall task against Ohio State. They lost 31 14. So, they're hoping to rebound as they get Red Wings and Michigan Wolverines. So four and one versus three and one. So that should be a very good matchup there. Then moving down the list, you have number fourteen, Nebraska Cornhuskers, RJ Mika, as uh, he panhandled the Boilermakers 38-20 and deals Boilermakers their first loss of the year. And uh, RJ is now three and two with Nebraska. Hoping to make his way back up to the Big 12 championship game that he has made the last two seasons. Very impressive run for Nebraska. Uh, then next up is Michigan at number 16 as they beat Minnesota in the World Round Jug. So the World Round Jug comes back to Ann Arbor. So a great job there by Red Wings as uh, they put the uh, whipping on Minnesota. And as I said before, they get Penn State coming up this week. And Nebraska goes to Madison to take on Wisconsin Badgers. So that should be a good game, too. Then moving on, you have the unranked list. You have uh, UCLA Bruins, who right now come in at 3-2. and two. Uh, They defeated Arizona 66-10. to uh, Just absolute slaughterhouse there. Next week, they travel to Boulder, Colorado to take on Colorado Buffaloes in their matchup. Then the next unranked team is the team I just mentioned, which was Washington Huskies. Uh, they got their first win over one double A team, uh, 51 to nothing. Um, as I said before, normally we try not to get double A teams, but since this was mid season, I had no control of the schedule. Uh, something out that will be taken care of next year. Uh, so, uh, but Washington gets their first win of the year. This week they battle Stanford Cardinals, who come in to match up two and three. And then you have really the only team left that has gotten absolutely no respect. But I think they hurt their chances a bit last week when they lost to Arkansas and trying to get to the top 25, and that's the Auburn Tigers. As uh, Auburn kind of came in to match up four and O oh, and uh, limped out with a 27-20 loss, so that does definitely hurt uh, Fred Limbo in the SEC West race right now, and uh, he's hoping that uh, maybe Arkansas will slip up and uh, go from there, but I can tell you with BK taking over Arkansas right now, uh, he already has an SEC championship appearance in, the, uh, in Atlanta. Uh, he did it the first year, I did it the second year. And so it's going to be a tall task to go from there. Of course, Fred Limbo and Auburn still have to deal with me in the Iron Bowl. So uh, he still has a long road ahead of him. Uh, but uh, anyway, they will take on the 22nd ranked Vanderbilt Commodores, who are coming in the matchup four and one and trying to be hard in the SEC East race. And uh, so we'll see if it goes from there. Um, no other news on the horizon, gentlemen. As I mentioned on the website in advance for uh, this week, is Wednesday. And also a little bit of news for you guys, in case you didn't catch on, on the vacation thread. I will be going out of town this coming weekend, uh, 11th through the 13th. Sox and Gators will be overseeing the uh, advance from there until I return, which will be late Sunday evening. 
Uh, so uh, I'll probably won't be back as commissioner until Monday. Um, other than that, uh, gentlemen, have yourself a great evening. Continue to play hard. Continue to represent Great Iron Gladiators for what this league where it truly is a, a league of truly absolute sin players. Make everybody proud. Have yourselves a great evening. Out of time, so say goodbye. What is yours now is mine.